is going on everybody I am John from JFM development of course you know the YouTube channel that helps you with your DIY mixing anything you need to learn from learning how to do flavor notes to mixing up recipes development all that great stuff but guess what this is a JFM development breaking news announcement there is nothing wrong with your television do not attempt to adjust the picture we are now controlling the transmission we control the horizontal and the vertical. Yes, I didn't think I would be doing this such thing because who would have known something like this would have happened, especially like this. I mean, similar things have happened before, but nothing quite to this extent. So, why am I all excited? Well, let me tell you. We have hit the mother load. Now, as a DIY community, we are always worried about the flavorings we use and the safety and how they will react in our mixes. Uh, rather that being uh, acetone, acetylpropanol, diacetyl, any of those compounds that are kind of, you know, eh, a little sketchy. We kind of worry about how they're going to affect us because there is not much long-term study on the subjects. So, I am very happy to announce... And this was brought to us by uh, users from Reddit. Apparently, some users from Reddit uh, got in contact with Flavora, or Flavora just released the mother load of all the information you could ever ask for. And what is this, you ask? This is their MSDS sheets. This is all the information about what kind of chemicals are in their flavorings, if there are any in their flavorings, such as acetone, acetylpropanol, diacetyl, also, that is not all. They also gave us the suggested usage percentages for their flavorings. That is awesome, and that is going to be a great tool to help new DIYers and new people to flavor, for that matter, uh, know where to start when using their flavors. So this is great, great stuff. And actually, it's kind of funny that they did that because I just received the Flavora flavor line and I noticed that there are a couple bottles that they sent me that have the suggested usage percentage right on the bottle. Now, I'm wondering if that's going to be a thing that they're going to start doing on all their bottles, put a suggested usage percentage. But Flavora, if you're listening, which I know some of my videos you are, Maybe that would be a great thing. Just put the suggested usage percentage right on the bottle. That way people know exactly where to start. But let me tell you, if you are listening, Flavor, excellent job at being transparent. Because for everybody who is watching, not a lot of companies do this. I think TFA and maybe Flavor Art, definitely TFA though, has released all their MSDS sheets. But not a lot of companies do this, okay? This is something that's new. So... Let me stop talking and let me show you. I'm going to share my right desktop with you and I will show you uh, what I'm talking about, what they released, and you can. I'll also link it in the description so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so right here, guys, let me just, you know, shrink my head a little bit. Okay, so if you look at right here, they released this right here. It's uh, uh, safety handling procedures and warnings. That just gives you some safety information. And here's what they just updated. Uh, acetone, acetylpropanol, diacetyl, and this was updated uh, today. See, uh, three, well, it wasn't today. It was a little while ago. But here's all information on their flavors, okay? You got uh, Flavor Aki. It's, uh, the suggested usage rate is 3 to 5%. Um, it doesn't contain any diacetyl. It doesn't contain any acetylpropanol or acetone. And if you go down the list... They have all their flavors, all of them. Some of them are still at the lab, like right here, berry cheesecake. It's at the lab, at the lab, at the lab. I did notice that, um, probably still being tested. Uh, but they just literally gave us the mother load here. Any questions you had about any flavors, I mean, you should be able to find them here. I just thought this was really warranting a quick video. This is awesome, awesome stuff. Yeah. So, I just wanted to bring this to your guys' attention. Um, if you guys want to check it out for yourselves, the description will, the link, it will be in the description down below. 
Uh, I thought this was really cool. It's it's really an unheard of thing um, for a company to release all the information, but I guess it will be putting themselves, Flavora themselves, a step ahead of all the new FDA regulations because I think a lot of this information they're going to have to provide to them anyways. And at least as a community, this definitely helps us out make better decisions on our flavors and what we want to put into our bodies. So seriously, Flavora, two thumbs up from me. Awesome job, awesome jobs. I encourage every one of my subscribers, click the link in the description. Go check this out. This is very important stuff, all right? See you guys later. Peace.